So in this video, we're going to look at how to block out large areas of color with the brush tool. Well, this is a special technique. So we already have our swatches in now. As you have completed the swatches assignment, and I got all my colors, and they have all the ranges that they need to be. This is my line work layer. I'm going to lock it. It's set to multiply, so that's good for me. Make a new layer now, and I'm just going to call this a color layer. Now I'm going to begin to start to color, and I'm only really thinking about blocking shapes. I'm going to get the brush tool. I need to use a hard brush. Get just a regular brush and make sure that hardness is 100. So your brush should look, have hard edges like this. It should not look like that. If it looks like this, it's not going to work. So make sure that your hardness is set to 100. Now let me grab a color that I'm actually going to use for my project. I can make the size of my brush larger or smaller over here, and or I can use the uh, bracket keys, this one and this one. So this one makes it bigger and this one makes it larger. So that's a shortcut key. So let's get started. If I click one time, I move my mouse, I press shift, and I click. And I'm just going to go around really, really loosely. This is more about speed than anything else. You need to close your shape. I'm making an outline. I'm blocking my shape. I'm closing it. That's the first step. Second step, we're going to use the paint bucket. So we're going to go over here. If you can't find the paint bucket tool, it's probably under the gradient. So find the gradient and look in there there's a paint bucket. Now I'm going to click in the middle of what I outlined, but some weird things happen. You notice that there's this little line right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click one more time, and that's going to make the line go away. You notice that when I click, you can see this is the edge, and it expands it a little bit, but that's okay. So we are aiming again. We're not aiming for accuracy, we're aiming for speed. And you can use G, which is the shortcut key for um, the paint bucket tool. So I can do this side, click one time, shift, make a shape, it has to be closed, G for my paint bucket, click in the middle, and click again. And that's how I would block in my shapes. Now, my layer, my color layer is on top of my line layer. I'm going to put it underneath, and now you'll notice how I'm getting some color blocking going on.